Okay, hello, this is William and Sarah at GitLab. And today we're gonna to show you how to make a merge request to the handbook when your content is in a Google Doc. Uh, so it's always, always much better to make the merge request first right away and skip the Google Doc. Uh, and then you can skip this whole video. But in case you have content in the Google Doc that you want to get in a merge request, uh, we're gonna walk through how to set that up today. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is go to the handbook page that we want to edit and go to the bottom of the screen and click on edit this page. <laughs> so you might need to drag your browser window around. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right. And then uh, this will bring up the actual markdown page and go ahead and click on edit, which is uh, up in like kind of the toolbar area over there. Yeah. And so this is a markdown representation of this page. And uh, if you want to learn markdown, there's a video on our YouTube channel that talks about how to learn markdown in five minutes. Uh, or at the bottom of this uh, screen, there's usually a, a little link that says a uh, Markdown. Uh, actually, it's not here. We'll link in the description video of this video a link to the Markdown video. <laughs> but if you Google GitLab Markdown, you'll find how to learn Markdown. And so uh, you're going to find the spot in this that you want to edit. And what I find is when I'm using this editor view, it says soft wrap up in the top right corner. Mm -hmm. And if you click on that, it kind of wraps the lines and, and makes it easier to read instead of going off the screen. Okay. Um, so I think we want to edit the approval workflow. Is that right? Yes. And uh, so the first thing I think is that the point four about the invoice, we want to move that down into the preceding section or to the following the section. Following section, yes. Yeah, so go ahead and copy and paste that. I don't want the numbers though, so. Yeah. Cool, and then this whole section we're gonna replace with the content in your Google Doc, is that right? Yes. So I would delete that stuff. Cool, and now we're gonna go over to your Google Doc. Uh, so go over to the Google Doc that has your content. And uh, Command A to select all of the content. And then uh, you know Command C to copy it. And then in another tab, you are going to Google for uh, rich text to markdown. And usually the first one that pops up is this uh, Medusas. I use this all day long, one of my favorite tools. Uh, and you just paste in your Google Doc content there, convert to markdown, and you have a reasonable uh, view there. So now you just copy all of that, go over to your MR, and paste that into that section. Now, there's a few things that we're going to need to massage uh, that I will point out. So if you notice that, um, go up to the top where the subheader was. Um, so the first thing is that per, uh, procedure to pay process is got two hash marks. That means it's like a level level two header. And then underneath that is requirement identification and approval workflow, which are at level four. And then mm -hmm. yours is also at level four. So ideally, you want your yours to be a level below. But I thought you would have to change all of your stuff. Instead, you should be able to make approval workflow just a level three. And yet, awesome. Same with that one and the same with the ones below it. That just happened to work out in a, in a lucky way on this page. Uh, so the idea is you want all of your headings nested. So, you know, fours go under threes, go under twos, et cetera. Um, so the only other thing to clean up is when you do a rich text to markdown conversion is sometimes there's extra white space. So you can kind of see like between paragraphs, sometimes there's like two or three spaces when there should only be one.
Ooh. I changed color. No, huh? don't think so. That's just showing that you have an active line. Okay. I didn't change color though. Now, the last thing we're going to do is we are going to look for any links in your content that are to pages on about.getlab.com. So I don't know if you know off the top of your head, within your content, did you link to other getlab.com pages? It looks right like there's here. one there. So we are going to turn that from what's called an absolute link, which includes the whole URL, into a relative path link, which basically means just delete https colon slash slash about.getlab.com. And so it's just going to start with slash handbook. And that's because the handbook is also at about.getlab.com, so it, it knows that that is the URL. So do you have any other uh, absolute paths? So pat, other links to, to other things or other websites are fine, but if, links, if it's a link to about.getlab.com, you want to make that a relative path uh for example yeah, like up there yeah, okay it's, it's already cool so now we're going to add a commit message so you are going to give this something uh descriptive it should be short but descriptive about the change that you are proposing where down in the uh, commit message section down here. yeah so instead of just okay update i updated the page is usually not very helpful but if you give something uh, short and descriptive And then you can see that it, it is already going to create up. Oh, you need to review more stuff. No, I think I'm good. And then you can see the target branch is already created a, a, a new branch for you. And we're going to start a merge request with these changes. So when you commit those changes, which you should go do now, it's now creating a new branch for you and it's creating a merge request. So this is the merge request where this content's not live yet, but we're making a request to merge it. So here you can tag the people that you want to review. For example, you would put, uh, you know, like at Chase, and uh, you might, you know, you might ask them specifically like what you want them to look at, or um, <laughs> I started out all professional. <laughs> that's, I, I like Chase a lot, so I would never want to mess up his page, right? Like, I think that's a good. I don't think I need Jamie to look at anything in particular. I just want her to know it's done. So, uh, so the other thing is, um, you probably want Chase to approve it before it gets merged. Okay is that I would just like add it in there and say like, you know, if you approve, can you comment with your approval or something like that? And then do you know who will be the final person who will click the merge button? Like who is responsible for merging this? Um, probably Paul. Okay, so you could, uh, you could assign in the assignee there. Although you, you want people to review this before, review, before yeah. you assign to Paul, you can leave the assignee blank for now and basically go down and uh, hit uh, create merge request or submit merge request. And now you have your MR. And what it's going to do is these uh, little icons over here are this is the pipeline. And so your pipeline is going to run. It's going to create something called a review app, which means it's going to spin up uh, a whole version of the website that has your changes already in it. So if other people want to read and review what you did, they can just look at that page. And so when that's done, we'll add the review app um, so that folks can review it. 
And if other folks want to review it in the meantime, they can go down here to the changes section and click on changes potentially. Actually, yeah. And then uh, you can see what is called a diff between the handbook. So that is how you take a content that you have in a Google Doc and add it to a merge request. Thanks everyone for playing along at home.